Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hello, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, then thanks for clicking on this video. So you can all have guessed by now what this video is gonna be about by the title. I'm gonna be talking about my brand new Kate Spade bag. Um, if you guys follow me, over on my blog you'll have seen this bag already, I did a little blog post all about it. So this is my brand new handbag, um, I've never owned anything from Kate Spade before and this is actually my first kind of designer um, luxury handbag purchase. I've been working really hard at my job recently so I thought I would treat myself. We basically visited a place that had a lot of different designer bags and I saw this one and I instantly fell in love with it. Um, I'm not going to go into like price and stuff because I just feel like that's a little bit showy offy if you're interested in the bag you'll know how much it is anyway um, but I just wanted to start off and get a little bag for myself for my designer collection that I hopefully want to grow one day um, so yeah this is like super super exciting for me and I'm absolutely in love with it um, and I basically used it for the first time yesterday um, and I thought that I would show you guys what is inside just like a little video a little bit about the bag um, but kind of like my experience so far with it if I'm enjoying using it that kind of thing and then also do like a little what's in my bag to show you everything that can fit in here so this bag is actually called the Kate Spade Street Orchard Arla bag. What I'll do is I'll link it down below um, in case any of you guys want to know any more information about it. But I'll leave a little link down below. Um, I absolutely am in love with it. I just think it's the most gorgeous colour. I think it's perfect for autumn and winter. It's a really, really decent size. And the strap that it comes with um, is actually adjustable, which for me is really great because I'm so short. And I find that over the shoulder bags like these usually are way too long for me. And the shortest that it goes is the perfect length for me. So that is really, really good. Um, it's got these really pretty like tassels on the side. So the inside is black and white stripey, um, which I think is like tradition for like Kate Spade bags. And then you've got the little logo on the front, which is really pretty. There's also like a little um, pocket on the front where you can keep stuff. I just keep my phone in there because it's kind of easily accessible. So the first thing I noticed after using the bag yesterday was that the back of the bag has marked, which I am so upset about. I was kind of worried about this bag marking because it is so light um, in colour and I feel like the leather is that type of leather that marks quite easily. Um, but I was so careful when I used this bag yesterday. I didn't like put it on the floor or anything, you know, I treated it like a baby. Um, but the back of it has marked and it's a little bit black. I've managed to get most of it off with a baby wipe. Um, but obviously I just want to be careful because like it is really delicate. But the only reason it did that was because it was rubbing against my black Topshop jeans all day. And they're not even new jeans, so I'm kind of disappointed at the fact that it has marked that easily. I have to be really, really careful with what I wear this with, um, because clearly it does mark very easily. So that's just one thing to bear in mind. If you are planning on getting this bag, maybe like get it in a dark colour or something, because then obviously it wouldn't mark. I love this colour so much, I think it's gorgeous, and I don't regret buying it in this colour. Um, I am just kind of upset at the fact of how easily it marks. Um, but that's the only like negative thing I have to say, everything else is great. The design of it is brilliant, and you can just tell that it is made really well. Um, it's just the marking on the back that's a little bit of an issue. I'm now just going to get in with the video and show you guys what I can keep inside the bag. So the first thing I've got are actually my keys. As you can see, my key ring is pretty huge. I've got a big pom-pom, I've got my car key, my house key, and then my little Tesco club card. Um, so they fit inside it very nicely. Next up, I've got a nail polish. This is Essie's Chin Chili. Um, and it's really random, I know, but the only reason I've got this in is because yesterday I went and got my um, nails done. I got acrylics put back on, and this is the colour that I had them painted. So that's what I've got on my nails right now. I've then got hand sanitizer because typical me... I can't go anywhere without hand sanitizer. I love it, um, I'm completely obsessed with it, I'm gonna put some on now. And if I'm out and about, I just need to have hand sanitizer because I need to use it before I eat and stuff, otherwise I freak out a little bit. I've then got my purse, this is just a really old, like, black purse from H&M. Um, but it's just really easy to keep, like, cards and stuff in it. I've got my ID, my debit card, Costa card, Boots card, um, a Tesco Club card voucher and then I've just got a £5 note and loads of change so I just keep that one in there it's a really good purse actually um, I used to be a lover of like a big purse but I've totally converted to like a smaller little coin purse because you can fit all of your essentials in it and it fits perfectly in the bag I've then got some tissues because you never know when you might need a tissue um, just 
tissues. Okay, next up I have got some of the Smint mints um these are really cool you just like push the little thing down and a mint comes out the bottom i basically just have these because they're super easy they're really tiny as well so you can pop one in and like people don't notice you like chewing it's not like a chewing gum or anything that's like really annoying um it's just a little mint that you can quickly eat and then your breath smells nice uh next i've got a receipt this is from Bernaville nurseries which is basically a garden centre near where I live um, and I don't really ever go there apart from when it's Christmas time. If you guys follow me on Instagram you'll have probably seen my Instagram story. Um, by the time you watch this it was probably like a week ago maybe um, and it was just so Christmassy and beautiful that I put it all over my Snapchat story um, and I actually picked up a few bits so yeah Christmas has started. Next up I've got a lipstick this is what I've actually got on today it's Max Velvet Teddy Lipstick um, I'm running low on this, I'm going to need to get a new one soon, um, but yeah, I just keep the lipstick that I'm wearing in my bag. I've also got another lipstick, this is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Skinny Dip. This is what I was wearing yesterday, so I had it in my bag for top ups. Next up I've got a lip balm, this is the Crazy Rumours Peppermint Twist Natural Lip Balm. Um, I picked this up in Holland and Barrett quite a while ago and I love it. Um, it's lasting me a really long time and it smells like candy canes which is really yummy. Um, and yeah, I just like to keep a lip balm in my bag because when you wear matte lipsticks your lips tend to get a little bit dry. Um, so if throughout the day I've had enough of wearing lipstick and I want to take it off I can just pop on some lip balm. I've then got two perfumes, uh, these are both really tiny ones that are lovely to keep in your bag. The first one is a Zara perfume and it's in the scent Joyful Tuberose, Turberose, not really sure. Uh, it looks like this, just in a tiny little pink bottle. It smells gorgeous, um, it's quite a sophisticated fragrance I think. Yeah, it's just kind of like a little bit floral, a little bit fruity um, and I just really like to keep that in my bag. And then I've got one of the tiny little miniature Victoria's Secret perfumes. This is in the shade Vanilla Lace and this is amazing. It smells like vanilla cupcakes and I literally love it. Like I could just constantly spray this on myself all day. Oh my god it's amazing. The Victoria's Secret little sprays are really good actually. Um, I only discovered them like a couple of months ago when I went shopping to a Victoria's Secret because I don't have one where I live. Um, and I picked up three of these and I'm obsessed with them. They're just so handy to like keep in your bag. They're just so small and um, the scent is really strong as well so you don't really need much at all. I've then got two hair bands because I always make sure I keep hair bands with me especially on days where I've got my hair down because I just get so fed up of it. If it starts to look a bit flat I might want to put some of it up. Um, or also if I've got my hair up like today, if the hairband splits, then I've got some extras. I've then got a lip liner. This is the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Um, again, this is just the one that I've got on today. It goes really well with Velvet Teddy. Um, so I thought that I would pop it in just to let you guys know that that is the shade I wear with Velvet Teddy. Uh, and then I've got two more things. I've got a little miniature nail file because... When I have acrylics, I really like to have a nail file with me just in case one of them snap and I need to file it. Or it just always comes in handy and like this is so tiny. I'm not actually sure where I got this from. Um, but yeah, it's just you just never know when you might need a nail file. And then I've lastly got some plasters because I am prone to getting sore feet. I constantly have blisters on my feet. Um, I just wear stupid shoes that rub all of the time. So it's pretty common for me to get a blister or like just painful feet so I like to carry around plasters um, and also I'm always that person that has a plaster when someone else needs one so they're just good to carry around and then actually I did forget in the front pocket I've got my phone but you guys knew that because I told you anyway so yeah that was everything I managed to fit in my little Kate Spade bag um, I probably could have fit a few more bits in actually so even though it does look quite small it surprisingly fits a lot in so I'm really really happy with the fact that I can fit so much in it because I used to be such a big person a big person <laughs> I used to be such a big bag person um, and converting to like a smaller bag can be quite tricky but I've definitely like got it down to a T I fit everything I need in here and I love it so much so that was what you can fit in a Kate Spade or Chadala bag 
So that was everything I managed to fit in my new Kate Spade bag. I really hope that you liked this video um, and I hope that you found it helpful in some way. Basically, all in all, I absolutely love this bag. I'm so excited to keep using it um, and just like take more pictures of it and stuff because I literally just think it's so beautiful. I just like stare at it when it's on the side of my room. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little bit disappointed at how like quickly it marks because I'm just looking at it now and the back of it is like marked grey from my jeans. I'm gonna have to go clean it in a minute and hopefully it comes off. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below in the comments if you did or let me know if there's anything else you think I should carry around in my bag or if you carry any of the same things then just let me know. Just have a little chat down below and it'll be really nice. Um, so yeah, remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to click the subscribe button down below and that way you will never miss a video of mine. Um, but yeah, if you are new to this channel, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will come back and watch some more of my videos. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go now so I will see you all very soon in another video. Goodbye!